crunch your Snickers. Please do pull me over. Girl's got to dress up for a man, you know. Dun, dun, dun! It's Rebecca Vardy's account. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my YouTube channel. Oh my God, I've got some exciting things to discuss with you and uh, my opinions on things today. Jesus, you want to stay tuned because I'll tell you what, it's exciting. Gossip and you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. So, my first bit of gossip, everyone's talking about this. First of all, I'm going to read it. So, this is not me who's written, written this. This is actually Colleen Rooney. This is the talk and Rebecca Vardy. I'm just going to read it out just to remind you, in case you haven't heard it or seen it. This is what Colleen's wrote. For a few years now, someone who I trusted to follow me on a, my personal Instagram account has been consistently informing of the Sun newspaper of my private posts and stories. There has been so much information given to them about me, my friends and my family, all without my permission or knowledge. After a long time of trying to figure out who it could be, for various reasons, I had a suspicion. To try and prove this, I came up with an idea. I blocked everyone from viewing my Instagram stories except one account. Those on my private account must have been wondering why I haven't had stories on there for a while. Over the past five months, I have posted a series of full stories to see if they made their way into the Sun newspaper. And you know what? They did. The story about gender selection in Mexico, the story about returning to TV, and then the latest story about the basement flooding in my new house. It's been tough keeping it to myself and not making any comments at all, especially when the stories have been leaked. However, I had to. Now I know for certain which account, which individual it's come from. Oh my God! I can't believe this bit. I have saved and screenshotted all the original storage which clearly show just one person has viewed them. Dun dun dun! It's Rebecca Vardy's account. Oh my god, this is scandal! I can't believe that. Now some people have said, do you think this is true? Now I've met Colleen, I don't know, I've met her at an event, seems really nice. And um, Rebecca Vardy, I've met Re Rebecca a few times. I'm just saying, I'm not that I'm taking sides on anything, but Colleen seems a bit like me. You don't say stuff unless you have evidence. Now anyone I've outed for a reason if they've really tried to damage me, for example, my best friends when they betrayed me with the husband, of course I'm gonna out them. I'm name and shame them, put their name out there, pictures, the lot, why wouldn't you? So uh, there's absolute no way, I'm sorry to say, it's horrible that Rebecca's getting all this sh and everything like that, I'm sorry, and but I believe, I generally believe that Colleen would not put this statement out unless she had evidence, because she could get done for deflammatory, you know, Rebecca's having a baby, she's like heavily pregnant, you, there's no way, there must be truth in it, there's got to be, and I'm sorry to say that, people can hate me, do what you like, I'm used to it, troll me, there's got to be some kind of truth in it, there's no way, that is hardcore, but then again, I looked at the other way, Rebecca, what would Rebecca gain by doing this? She doesn't need the money, it's not about the fame, she's got a happy life. So you do have to look at both sides, but knowing the situation I've been in, when people, when I've tried to do red herrings, and yet there's loads of red herrings and still haven't found the person, maybe I'm bugged, I don't know, there's gotta be truth in it. My verdict is, Rebecca must be guilty. Collie needs to back it up and show us. You can't do a statement like that and not back up the goods. We need to see some proof. Anyway, I mind my own business. Do you know what, thinking about what I've just done, that's what it's like what people are like about me. It was nice to not be in the papers for the day, so let's read about someone else. Now I did promise a little tour of my stables before I go into everything else. So um, I'll give you a tour, but there's not much to see at the moment because there's no horses here. It's used to be full of horses. Instead of a horse, there seems like there's some bird. Oh, there's a nest up there. I don't know if there's anything in it now. So I'm starting to fill this up from my house with clothes and shoes and eBay stuff basically. So this is one. This is from a press call I did years ago to pair of lips. It was for a perfume I did. Um, what was it called? Kiss, I think, my perfume. And that's what I wore as my outfit. I was pregnant at the time, so that covered my belly up. So literally, as I say, I'm clearing out my house. It's just full of literally junk. Like in here, I've got like eyelashes, bikes, old calendars of mine, TVs. You know like when you get some people who've got a garage and it's full of crap. I've got nine, as you say, so-called garages, 
full of crap that I need to sort out. Even to the point in my first video when I was speaking, I thought it'd be a nice area for me to sit on my sparkly chair each time. I came here today to sit on it and already there's rubbish on it. So there's no more sparkly chair to sit on for now. And who's to blame? The builders of the house. And do you know what? I've just looked outside. I've just had a blow dry and it's bloody raining. So I must be able to find an umbrella somewhere in it. So what I'm trying to do now, I've got to sort out my clothes for eBay. Now I'm going to show you the spots where I've got clothes. First of all, I've got to put Sparkle back in with her puppies. Do you want an update with my puppies? Come on, Sparkle. You should be in with your puppies. Come on. These puppies are so growing. Come on. Look at your babies. They're growing. Look at these. Look at your little babies. Look how much they're growing. Look. Your little babies. So cute. They're about a week old now. Growing. The eyes are nearly sort of opening. Aren't they cute? You're a good girl, aren't you? Look, they want their mummy. Oh, good girl, Sparkle. She's a good luck, good mum to them. You gonna lie down, Sparkle? Good girl. Come on, lie down. There you go. So, I don't know where to start. Whether this little heap here, clothes, this heap of clothes, or Clothes in here. Everywhere. <laughs> got the girls trying to tidy up in here. <laughs> or if we go upstairs, more clothes. Or oh, there's another room. This room. And all here. So it's exhausting to know where to start. Which room, which pile? Obviously I don't need all these clothes and I'm always saying, what can I wear? What can I wear? Exactly, where do you start? It's an absolute headache. Most of these I've put on eBay. Look at these, I've got, I bought these in Venice years ago. What a waste of money, 800 pound these were. For them. What do you think of them? Pretty cool though. So I come here, go in all the rooms and my head's like that. Shh, shh, shh. Where do I start? So my plans is, I've got to go in each room, sort out what clothes I want, what I don't want, and the clothes that I don't want, I'll be doing, um, putting stuff on eBay for years. But everyone said about this new one, Depot, Depot, whatever it's called. But literally, I do have to sort all this out, because I seriously don't need all these clothes. It just gives me a headache, to be honest. Maybe I'll start downstairs. Oh, and just to add to it, a random little wardrobe here, full of clothes. As you can see in the background, you've met Charles before. Howdy. <laughs> uh, there's builders everywhere in the house at the moment. They're literally getting everything out of my house, ready to start the transformation of something you will find out. But in the meantime, I've still got a lot of clothes in here and I do have to sort them out. Oh, it's a nightmare. These girls come here and clean the house. <laughs> and all it is is clothes, 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 clothes. Isn't it a nightmare? It's not a nightmare, but it's... Do you think I've got a lot of clothes? A lot? Yeah, a lot yeah. of clothes. So do you agree I need to get rid of a lot? Yeah. yeah. A lot. A lot. <laughs> now you know, when I say I don't know what to wear, I can't find anything, now you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't totally yeah. know what you mean. I, I thought I'm bad. Me too. No. No. I just, look, look. <laughs> i tell you what I do need if you do find the kids' pants. Jet and Bunny's pants and yeah. socks. We'll have a look. That is what I will need. I'm going to sit here and look at stuff, a pile <laughs> for eBay. So have a spare bag. At least if I do one bag, I feel like I've done yeah. well. If we get you, we'll get you a one of them laundry bags. Yeah, is we'll that right? And I'm going to sit yeah. here. And just go I mean, that is just full of underwear. Yeah, that is. Hello, there's another one. That one I'm there. Don't you think I'm obsessed with underwear? underwear. Very saucy and very pretty. <laughs> what, my underwear? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Like, I love my stockings and yes. suspenders. Look, I just love everything matching with my underwear. I've got lots of little uniform ones. Have you we noticed, noticed that? We noticed that. There's a student nurse yeah, one. Student nurse yeah. Would you think I'm boring in bed, like looking at all this? Hell no, definitely not. You won't think no. I'd be boring in bed? <laughs> no, you not. <laughs> I'm so bloody boring. <laughs> but yeah, look, I love it. I just love all like stockings, suspenders. I love it. This is behind the scenes that lots of girls talk the talk, but you can actually see the real deal that I do actually love underwear and stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. what these ones? Yeah. This oh, that's like a little outfit. That one. That's, nice. that's nice. like a little dress, and you put like little suspenders in it. Yeah, oh, that's nice. very nice. 
And that might even go with them little oh, fishnet oh, stockings. Fishnet. Yes, we love that. Or like I say, I've got my nice little nursery outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I just love underwear. Like these ones, look how gorgeous these ones are. Oh, well, I say it's nice. nice. But basically your boobs are there. Just, oh, just, just underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. Just underneath. Oh, this one's when I want to be a sailor. <laughs> Oh, there's a Wonder Woman one. We yeah, really like. and there this one. Wonder Woman one Is around. that one? Love That's, it. Yeah. <laughs> the girls got to dress up for a man, you know. Well, don't they? Can't mm. be boring. No. no. Thing is, because my boobs have gone up and down. I've got real. I don't know if that one would fit me at the minute. Now it's obviously no. smaller with that one. <laughs> so I've got boxes and boxes, or whatever of underwear. Like this one, I think this is my Wonder Woman one, I think. I've got like cuffs that go, does that match that hat? Yeah. I don't know where the whole outfit is, but it'd be somewhere like with that. What else have I got in there? Corsets, I like a corset. Oh, there's some knickers with my name on, just to remind people who I am. But yeah, you can always see lots of tights, stockings. I love wearing stockings, just loads of them. I like pretty knickers, different bras. Stockings, these have obviously been worn because they're out of the packet. Uh, more suspenders, white pair. But I do have it all matching with stuff. Like, that's why I've got to sort out all my stuff. It's just everywhere. Bras. Not all my little, but that fit me now. Oh, that one would fit me again. So there you go. Bikinis, bras, underwear, outfits, you name it, I've got it. Do you want the next bit of juicy gossip? In fact, I'm so pissed off that I have to air it my way, not the media way, my way. I've been banned now four times from driving, but it's actually not driving, not me driving. It's to do with paperwork. So apparently, I was in court yesterday and the court, my lawyer said to the court, I would not be there because I'd be out the country. We proved that we was out the country and stuff, but the judge wasn't even interested in adjourning it. Why? Because I believe they've got it in for me. I just want to clarify something. Where I live, there's five houses all around me and we all have the same postcode, all right? We all have the same postcode, but we all have a different name on our house. For example, that house could be called Pink Princess and that one could be called Purple Princess. So my house would be Pink Princess, but my neighbours would be Purple Princess. So this is what happens to me. Some people write to me and I don't always get it on time. For example, my name and my postcode, but they've got the wrong house. They put purple princess, but my house is pink princess. So I get letters with purple princess house and pink princess house. So I don't always get this post. It happens a lot. Parking tickets, court stuff, police stuff, anything, bills. Some of it comes to Purple House. Now when I go to court and say that um, I don't always get my post because it's in different names, and my court stuff and driving stuff, which they've been referring to, has gone to Purple House, not me. So I don't always get it, but the court don't want to hear that. Not only that, I need to drive and I am going to appeal. I live in the middle of nowhere. I have a son with disabilities that might need to be rushed to hospital at certain times. My mum is terminally ill and I need to visit my mum. And if they're banning me for two years, my mum, how do I know she's, she's gonna be here in two years time? I need to be able to get to my mum. It's obscene that the, the courts won't listen just because they've banned me before three times, which was also unfair because they don't want to listen but there needs to be something done about sending me stuff to the wrong address which is why I didn't have all the information which is why I didn't write back who was driving at this time that time they need to hear my story and on top of that my house everyone's calling it mucky mansion yes because I'm not living in my house it's empty I'm doing stuff to it and something's gone wrong I'd explain that in due course time but I have builders inside my house my post gets moved here there everywhere so at the moment, I don't get all my posts. So I am going to appeal my driving ban. It's obscene being banned for two years. Two years is a long time. I don't deserve it at all. It's a load of bollocks, especially like my pink Range Rover. Yes, I still have my pink Range Rover, by the way, because everyone says it's gone. No, I just don't drive it. and I definitely can't drive it now because people like the police do pull me over and I'm like, what have I done? And their attitude is, well, what's with the attitude? And I'm like, well, why have you pulled me over? It's just because they want to be nosy. What other person has a pink car in my area? They know it's me. I'm wailing on, but I just want to get 
sum this up. Parking tickets in you lot, then you send me reminders, and then you want to send a bailiff in over a parking ticket that doesn't even get to me. Get the right address, and then you might get me to open the post correctly. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, join me with my next YouTube video. Until then, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.